Hi. We are. <laughs> it's my first, first event here. This is awesome. It's very fun. So thank you. Um, my question is in terms of um, getting more in tune with that inner being. I was hoping you can give me an answer. I'm, I'm kind of new to meditating, so I'm hoping for some kind of technique that can maximize my potential as a person, as well as help me get more in touch with my inner being. We really like your words here because there is no better understanding about maximizing myself as a person than to understand that it is connecting myself to my whole self, allowing the whole of me to be present in this moment. So it's helpful to know that the whole of you, you see, you were non-physical energy before you came into this body. And even though a part of your consciousness is focused here, that larger non-physical part of you, that energy part of you, that source, God force part of you remains non-physically focused, but is still right here focused with you. And so what you're looking for as a human is to find ways to be as open to that wholeness as you can be so that you can allow moment by moment more of that wholeness to be present in your deciding process in your deciding what to do process in your clarity process and so forth so really good words you're looking for exactly what we want you to be looking for meditation is so interesting because there are so many ways of going about it but we just want to say to you what your objective is and an easy way that we know of to hook up so your objective is to offer in a moment in time that you've chosen set aside 15 or 20 minutes earlier in the day the better because there's less resistance earlier in the day sort of like get the early flight less resistance the better but your objective is to quiet your mind to the point of no resistance so that in the absence of resistance your vibration rises it will just like a cork floating to the surface and as your vibration rises you vibrationally tune in to the frequency of your inner being and that's what alignment is so meditation is the path to alignment it's a tool to the path to alignment it's interesting it just means stop the normal thought to allow the internal thought or the inner being thought that's really what it is well most of you have trained your minds and you should in other words you want to be actively involved with your mind your mind is your creative mechanism your mind is the way you focus energy and so you've trained yourself to focus and it feels weird to you to have any moment of time where you deliberately don't focus so let's use different words you're not not focusing you're allowing a more important focus what you're actually saying is I'm setting this time aside to clear a space in me so that my inner being can flow through me clearly this is a distinction that we really want you to hear your inner being is always flowing to you and through you always you don't need to meditate to allow us to see through your eyes or hear through your ears or taste through your tongue in other words we're there all the time but it is necessary for you to recognize that it's happening the first time Esther meditated she received a very strong energy sensation she didn't really know what it was and as thoughts started flowing she didn't know that they were our thoughts because they were being deciphered through her translating mechanism so she thought they were her thoughts so she tried not to think them well that's normal because it's coming through your mechanism and so in this process of meditation first you're going to quiet your mind then you're going to feel impulse and the best scenario is when you feel a detachment from your time space reality which means you feel sort of numb or you feel sort of swoony or you can't tell your nose from your toe you feel detachment now your mind is going to wander because it's used to wandering around and it's used to being active so when you catch yourself thinking about something sometimes if Esther's got something going on she will sit to meditate and it will take 
almost the whole 20 minutes just to quiet her mind because there's enough momentum going of the thought well don't fight that if your mind is really active then this isn't really a very good time to meditate but if within 15 or 20 minutes you can really relax into non-thought until you can actually feel that detachment we want to say that that feeling of detachment is key to knowing you're accomplishing a significant meditation that difference in the way your body feels even better once you've received that sense of detachment if you receive an impulse to move and you know you're not directing it even better that means you've come into alignment with your inner being who knows every cell of your body and who is offering impulses so that your body will respond to the intentionality of the thought that's being offered you see what we're getting at so just relax until that happens and don't push it don't try to make it happen and most of all don't sit with a problem that you're meditating on don't say I really want an answer to this this is a significant thing to understand step one is ask step two is source answers step three is you got to let it in so let's talk about that relative to meditating step one not good in meditating because when you're asking the question you're all actively involved in the vibration of the question and the question and the answer are vibrationally different the problem and the solution are vibrationally different so you want some distance between activation of some problem and your time to meditate so think of meditation as a step three moment don't look at meditation as a way to fix things look at the meditation as a way that your odds are greatest of letting in the questions that you've been asking the step one that you've been doing and the step two in that we've been doing and are doing and you're just going to have a step three moment which means you're just going to relax and focus on your breathing that's a good thing count your breaths that's a good thing Esther listens for a sound in the room like in this room she would listen for the air conditioner because it's steady you hear it? she would just focus there around the cough around the phone ringing around the rustling of papers around the different things around the voice that's happening incessantly in this room just focus on something focus on something that isn't very interesting because Esther never focuses on that air conditioner and judges it she never thinks I've heard better <laughs> it's just a soft thing to focus on and because she's focused on that she can't focus on something else she's not remembering something while she's focusing on that she's not analyzing some problem while she's focusing on that she's focused on that and since it's not very interesting then it's not very active and since it's not very active then it's rather inactive and because it's rather inactive then there's no resistance in it and because there's no resistance in it her vibration rises easily and as a vibration rises easily she hooks up with broader perspective easily that's what meditation is and that's the way we would go about it we wouldn't make work of it but we would do it every day because it is a progressive thing the more you do it the more confidence you have in it the more you do it the easier it is for you to tune into it the more you do it the more nuanced it becomes the more you do it the more you get to feel the progression of your connection to inner being and we say to all of you and especially to you it isn't a big deal and it won't be difficult it isn't difficult it's being who you really are it's getting who you aren't out of the way so you can be who you are and by who you aren't we mean it's getting worrisome you out of the way it's getting impatient you out of the way it's getting competitive you out of the way it's getting anything out of the way that your inner being isn't and when everything is out of the way that your inner being isn't then you is as your inner being is and there you are so what does that mean does that mean the secrets of the universe will be revealed to you yeah yeah but what it really means is you want to get used to that feeling used to that feeling the thing that meditation brings to you is it gives you this stability you're not so quick to fly off the handle you're steadier in your vibration it amplifies your sensitivity to your alignment or your discord it helps you understand 
if there's a gap between the vibration of your inner being and you and when you think about it your inner being is always satisfied when you're dissatisfied there's a gap your inner being always loves when you're not loving there's a gap your inner being always knows that things are working out for you when you don't know that there's a gap so meditation is a way of closing the gap well pretty easy to close the gap if you're not thinking about anything so don't think of anything and close the gap don't think of anything and close the gap don't think of anything and close the gap until you now know what it viscerally feels like when the gap is closed oh hmm it's not as interesting as I thought it would be <laughs> gap opens <laughs> close the gap hmm. Hmm. wonder if I'm supposed to get something gap opens <laughs> breathe more focus more close the gap Hmm. Hmm. Seems like I should be doing something. Gap opens. <laughs> Read more. Close the gap. Hmm. Hmm. All is well with me. This feels good. Nice thing to be doing. Gap opens a little. You're thinking too much. Just relax. Nothing needs to be done. In tune with source. I can't hear your source speak louder. Gap opens. <laughs> you just get so you can feel that attunement or not, that attunement or not. And after a little while, you'll be so in tune that you'll begin to receive thoughts that your inner being is thinking. And because you've already practiced what it feels like to be in tune you'll know those thoughts are the thoughts of your inner being because you'll feel the entunement that you've been practicing when there were no thoughts that's the best description of meditation that we've ever offered helpful yes thank you enough yes